favorite shady auntie shady auntie Kelechi here for your entertainment welcome to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video and if you like the video for real share it with your friends if you are not new to my channel welcome back that means you are a member a self-proclaimed member of the shady auntie nation so we're gonna jump right into it because you know auntie kelechi can talk and she will go off in a tangent today i'm gonna do a wig review on the finger comber kinky roller set unit i have it in my head right now that's what i have on um and this is kind of this is not this not the picture way i see way say i go buy them finish okay so so this is kind of like a review kind of like a opinion opinion whatever on um so you people let me know how you feel about it if you your own experiences and this is just mine i'm not being paid um i'm not a angry customer or whatever so i'm just i'm just doing my review so that you people can see because you are my followers i want you people to kind of i'm a regular degular schmegler regular cardi b will say person like you people so i'm just giving you my own experience with this uh with this particular unit so anyway so the wig came is in regards so here are the pros and cons of the 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 unit So in regards to like how long it took to ship, I ordered it on a Friday and it came on a Friday. So exactly one week um, from the time that I ordered to the time that it was on my doorstep, front door, whatever you want to call it, my stoop, my, my mailbox, it took exactly one week. Um, and I know they said they're handmade, so I kind of understood or figured that it wouldn't be immediately. Um, so it took one week. So that's pretty okay, pretty decent. Um, it's not bad, um, especially for it being handmade, custom made. Each unit, I don't know how many they sell a day, so that's pretty um, decent, you know, or whatever. Okay, so okay, so packaging. So in regards to packaging, so it came in this box. And then inside of the box, it was this little box. Um, it had a bow on it. I don't know where I put the bow. Sorry. Um, and then inside the box, it was kind of wrapped with the tissue paper. And it came with um, the care guide, as you guys can see. And then here's the video of it fresh out of the box. Um, it came with rollers as well and bobby pins that were holding the rollers in. So that was, you know, the first impression out of the box type of thing. Um, so something that I did not like about it is that it does not have um, adjustable band. It does not have an adjustable band inside of it. Um, and I have a weird shaped head. My head, it just looked like a coconut to cocoyam. It's big in the front and small in the back. So the adjustable bands was supposed to help me adjust the hair, make them fit well, well on top. This is my Yamangoro head, but it did not come. It came with two combs, one in the front, one in the back. So I have a comb right here and then one in the back and it wasn't very, very secure. So I have it pinned. I have it pinned right here with my little leave out pinned on this side and then two other pins back here. And even then it's still not really secure. Um, so that's something that I didn't really like. I feel like if I had the bands, it would be a little bit more secure. But it's okay. It's not as if somebody is coming to pull my hair. So that's between me and my God. <laughs> anyway, so something else that I did not like. So when I took the rollers out, it just... I don't know if it had something to do with the humidity in my house. Or if the hair wasn't set well. I don't know um mind you again before i continue 
I am doing this review prior to hearing back from Finger Comba. I did send them a video of how the hair looked after I took the rollers out and how it did not set. Um, but I wanted to wear this wig with my uh, my fine, 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 fine uh, jumper, my jumpsuit. Um, if you want to see the pictures, here's a picture, but the rest of the pictures are on my Instagram. So go and follow me, like it, share it. You know, you know. Okay. So, um, I wanted to wear it today. I knew I was going to wear this week, this weekend. So it was just like, I was like, I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to refresh it, how I'm going to make it look like I want it to look like the picture. So, um, what I did was I followed the care instructions, which was I put the rollers back and then I dipped it in a basin with lukewarm, a little bit warmer than look, but lukewarm water and uh, about micro uh, uh, khaki size of <laughs> of um, shampoo and even smaller size of conditioner. So I dipped it, dipped it, and then I rinsed it out with clean water, of course. And then I put it back on my mannequin head. And then I let it sit from Friday. It's now Sunday. So I let it sit from Friday around 3.30 p.m. to this morning around 3 a.m. So a good 48 hours um, that is set. So what I did was when I, I went back and I removed the rollers and the hair still did not do what I wanted it to do. I removed one roller and it just, it was not looking was not jonesing me it was not it was not sweeting me at all so i was like you know what i did not want to put heat on this thing but i'm going to have to because it's not working it's not doing anything and i want to wear now today i won't wear this wig i must wear i'm gonna go flex with them i go hmm. i wanted to hammer everybody's timeline so by force by fire by force i go wear them and i decided and I, as you see i'm wearing it um so anyway so what happened was I took my blow dryer which has a comb and I kind of one section at a time or one roller piece that was rolled up at a time and I used the blow dryer on a very low heat and I you know kind of combed through it, detangled it with my hand and the blow dryer and then what I did was I took my curling iron, my curling tongs, my flat iron, flat iron or flat iron, flat is flat iron not calling iron not tongs before you people go and say auntie she told you to use tongs i did not tell you but if that works for you hey it works so anyway i put it on 250 now again everybody's flat iron is different everybody's flat iron's heat capacity is different do not again do not say auntie she told you to do this no i'm giving you warning now disclaimer okay so anyway, so I put it on 255, between 250 and 260, I went back and forth. Test a piece, a section, a small piece to see if it's too hot or not hot enough. So what I did was, since it's supposed to be a natural looking blowout, I kind of lightly went through a couple of times with it. I didn't get it bone straight, but I got it to a nice like, oh, okay, if she natural, she, you know, she blowed out her hair kind of straight. And then I, I took it, I wrapped it around and just, oh slowly move press and move press and move if you do if you use a flat iron you know what i'm talking you know the skills and then i each section after i did that i re-rolled it in the rollers and set it and i left it i went i brushed my teeth uh took my shower did my makeups all of that good stuff and then when i was done i came back and i put the wig on my head with the roller still there then as I, I took out the rollers and then I manipulated it um, on my head and it turned out pretty well. I was post I will add some pictures of how it looked before the curls really dropped. Um, and I liked it. But what I will say is I was watching past the Jollof and she was like, don't over manipulate the wigs because it will start to get matted. And that's kind of what it's doing right now in the back. It's kind of matting up and the curls have dropped. So it's kind of crunchy. It's, I mean, it's still giving me the look and the vibes that I want, but it's still kind of crunchy. Um, the other thing that I did not like is it's not as full as this picture. It's, it's just not. Like, I bought this specifically because I knew it was 
like i wanted it to be this full but again the auntie might have more of a leave out app than i do i don't know um again on their website there is no video on really the styling on how they styled this this unit on her so there are other videos but not this specific one so i was a little bit disappointed about that as well um so but i got this look i liked it but i will say this that auntie if you not get patience to be styling here listen no listen here very good if you not get patience to be styling here please do not buy this unit it's not for you if you have patience to be manipulating or restructuring you know all then do it but if you don't have patience you go vest i promise you you go vest but again you might be lucky your own may not do as my own did and it may just come out and be popping from the box my own was not i had to work it i had to make it work i had to manipulate it but again i was okay with it because i i wanted to do it i was good um and i knew i was going to wear this wig so once i hear back from finger um comber i know they said 24 to 48 business hours um and i only messaged them on friday at like cob like three o'clock so they're probably busy um i'm not really i'm not upset or frustrated i'm not vesting so once they get back to me um and we figure something out i will make an update video and just be like hey this is you know kind of but so far the customer service has not been bad to me so i cannot say that customer service is bad because that's not the truth it's, it's not gonna be honest and i'm i'm pretty honest um, even though I'm low-key shady, which not shady meaning a cheetah or whatever, shady meaning that I'm petty and I say petty she sheesh things. Anyway, back on track because I get off tangent. Anyway, so that's really like the thing that that was just whatever it was for me. This was my experience. This is how I felt about it. Um, and I will say just if you're not ready to be manipulating her, don't get it. If you're okay with doing that get it it's your it's, it's, it's a it's a good look i'm going to try some of their curly kinky units and see um, i'm in the process of probably going back natural i don't know what i'm doing to be honest i just want to be popping all 2019 every day flexing on them flexing on them <laughs> anyway so i'm going to try one of their curly kinky units and kind of see what that looks and i'll do a review for you people and let you know but until then don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it if you enjoyed it. And also comments, like I enjoyed them. But I will say again, no pampangorious billy goat comments. Because what? Auntie Kelechi she has no senses. And I will respond to you like a pampangorious billy goat. The way you do to me, okay? But anyway, comments below. Tell me your own experiences. Whether you liked it, you didn't like it. I'm here for you.